Hello and welcome everybody for the English session. Today uh, we are going to start with the very first chapter that is a portrait of a lady. The lesson is going to be an interesting story. There is something, th uh, something to learn from this particular story. Kuswan Singh writes about a lady who has created a deep, a deep impact in his life. So let us start with the story, The Portrait of a Lady. <clears throat> First of all, when we read the title, The Portrait of a Lady, the thought might have come into your mind is, he might be talking about some beautiful lady, young lady, uh, a sort of a celebrity type of a person. But dear students, it is not so. He is writing about someone who was very close to him. He spent his childhood about such a person, Kuswan Singh is writing here in this particular story. Uh, Kuswan Singh, uh, probably not much thing is known about him by you, but Kuswan Singh is, uh, in fact, was very famous writer. He was contemporary of Ruskin Bond. Uh, if you had not studied anything about uh, Kuswan Singh till now, you can definitely recall uh, Ruskin Bond. Ruskin Bond, uh, about him, you might have studied a lesson or so. Uh, he is fond of writing children's story and all, and very famous for his work. So Kuswan Singh also lived in the same era. Uh, both of them uh, shared their work. I mean, they consulted each other over the literary matter. They also at times helped each other. So you can associate Kuswan Singh in the, with, the, with Ruskin Bond. As Ruskin Bond uh, was a very famous uh, author, similarly this Kuswan Singh was also. <clears throat> See, when you read the story, you won't find much information about Kuswan Singh. But here I have collected some information, some short information for you so that when we go for reading, at least we'll have some understand, uh, understanding about his life. Kuswan Singh was known as Kusal Singh. <clears throat> uh, everybody has a pet name or uh, people at times are known by the other name too. Uh, he's, he's known as Kuswan Singh, but uh, at home or his friend may be calling him Kusal Singh was born on 2nd February 1952, uh, 20 March uh, 2014. He was an Indian author, lawyer, diplomat, journalist, and politician. Now, hereafter, after this line, whatever information is given that is quite not worthy for you, means very important for you. His experience in the 1974 partition of India inspired him to write train to Pakistan in 1956. All of us have heard about the partition. Uh, many lives um, had gone in that partition. I mean, many people were killed during the partitions. Uh, you might have seen the Gadar movie of Sunny Devil. In that, a train is shown. So many dead bodies are coming through the train. Uh, there was <clears throat> a fight between uh, Hindus and Muslims. And uh, many Muslims were going back and many Hindus were coming back from Pakistan region and all. So during this struggle, uh, because of the various nuisance of the society, many people had lost their lives. Kuswan Singh lived in that era. 
he had seen all those scenes in his life in fact i can say that he was born in hadali which was uh, which is now in pakistan but at times india and pakistan was considered to be one so he was born in hadali now in pakistan so he might have experienced all the blood shed people lost their lives and innocent people were killed and all that so he was a soul eye witness of all the bad events now since he saw the partition and whatever happened during that time he had written a book on it which was uh, which is titled as train to pakistan and later in 1998 this particular story which he had written on uh, in train to pakistan it was made into film kuswan singh was also awarded with padma bhushan in 1974 so we can uh, have this much information and we can go with the story also uh sometimes you know if you want to really understand the writer's work you want to really appreciate his work then it is better that we should have better understanding about his background too so sometimes we skip reading about authors but smart students will first read about the author when you understand the psychology of author when you put yourself in the role of an author then appreciating understanding his work will become quite easy for you you just have to play the role play next time whenever you begin with any story any lesson any poetry start reading whatever information is given about author then you will start understanding his psychology indirectly you will find yourself in the shoe of the poet or the author then the appreciation becomes quite easy for you okay not uh, making you much wait let us uh, start with the story uh, as i said he has not written about any romantic person the portrait of a lady he is not writing about heroine nor celebrity or he is not writing any romantic story of lovers but the portrait of the lady which he has in that per this particular lesson kuswan singh has described about his mother he was greatly impressed by the lifestyle of his i mean grandmother not mother uh, he was greatly impressed by the lifestyle the way grandma live her life and that really inspired kuswan singh so later on when she was no more he ended up writing uh, this particular story about grandma or whatever uh, time he had spent with grandma he had described in this particular story let me make a background clear uh kuswan singh's parents they were working in the city they had got job in the city and as a result this uh kuswan singh had to live with his grandma kai baar hamare sath bhi aisa hota hai ke hamare mummy papa ki job kahin dur hoti hai aur uski wajah se wo log humse alag rehte hai वहाँ पे बाड़े के मकान में किराए के मकान में रहते हैं और वी मे बी लिविंग विथ अवर ग्रांड पेरेंट्स सो दिस टाइप ऑफ सिचुएशन मैनी ऑफ अस हैव फेस समटाइम्स फादर लिव्स अवे फ्रॉम अस मदर लिव्स अवे अवे फ्रॉम अस जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द जॉब पर्पस सिमिलरली हियर खुशवंत सिंह पेरेंट्स वर सेटल इन द सिटी it was a quite new job for them so till they settled down in the city kuswan singh had to live with grandma so since he had to live with grandma uh, almost all the time 
he was very much attached with grandma from the childhood so this is the background now let us continue with the story <clears throat> kuswan singh says that my grandmother like everybody's grandmother was an old woman surprising no all grandmas are always old because they have children and children's children that requires lots of time so grandma is always old but still this uh, kuswan singh is making a humoristic remark that his grandma was very old in fact everybody's grandma is always old uh since she was old she had wrinkle and since last 20 years uh grandma had the same sort of expression on her face you know certain people after reaching to certain age they can't become older so here grandma also had reached to the extreme stage of her life uh, and she cannot become older than that kai bar hum apne jab dada dadi ko dekhte hain to hame aisa lagta hai ki pichle 5 6 baras se unka same posture rehta hai chalne ki style same rehti hai yaar wo aapko ek hi posture mein dikhai dege kyun kyunki अब उन्होंने उम्र का वो पड़ाव पड़ाव पार कर लिया है कि इससे ज्यादा वो ओल्ड नहीं हो सकते तो ग्रैंडमा हैड बिकम वेरी वेरी ओल्ड सो सिंस लास्ट ट्वेंटी इयर्स सी लुक द सेम पीपल हैड टॉक्ड अबाउट ग्रैंडमा दैट व्हेन सी वाज यंग सी लुक्ड वेरी प्रीटी एंड सी हैड अ हस्बैंड but it was hard to believe for kuswan singh kuswan singh was a grandson and when people said that your grandma looked very beautiful very pretty when she was young this was hard to believe for kuswan singh kuswan singh could not even believe that grandma had a husband you know if grandma didn't have a husband she would not have a grandchildren too uh, so this is a childish way that kuswan singh is writing then after author talks about the grandfather actually grandfather by that time was no more he had passed away grandmother was alive but grandfather had passed away and his portrait was hanging there uh in the drawing room above the mantel piece what is this mantel piece mantel piece is a fire work uh, fire room i means uh, a corner in the room where they create a bonfire type of things in the house to get themselves warm and around it there is some wooden work or uh, stone work is created that area is called mantel piece hamare yahan to itni thand nahi rehti hai lekin european country mein hi zyada thand rehti hai to wo log kya karte hai apni kisi ek room mein ek uh, fire corner bana dete hai वहां पे लकड़ी वगैरह रख के वो रूम को थोड़ा वार्म रखते हैं सो दैट व्हेन इट बिकम्स एक्सट्रीमली कोल दैट रूम कैन बी वार्मिंग फॉर देम इट 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 कैन बी वेरी सूदिंग फॉर देम सो सो दैट इज कॉल्ड मेंटल बीस ग्रैंड फादर्स फोटो वाज देयर अब द मेंटल बीस ऑन इन द फोटो ही सो दैट ही वाज वेयरिंग टर्बन and he used to wear loose fitting clothes this is about grandfather but right now grandfather was no more uh he had a long beard he had a long beard and a beard used to come up to the chest 
and from the photo he could make out that grandfather looked at least 100 years old uh, he did not look the sort of a person uh, who would have wife or children such a uh, such a age such a very old person grandfather look As for my grandmother, being young and pretty, the thought was almost revolting. Revolting in the sense that it was very irritating for Kuswan Singh. Sometimes we come to the mood. I will आप और आपके फ्रेंड वहाँ पे डांस करने लगे तो यू विल फील हैप्पी इवन यू यू विल एडमायर योर डांसिंग एंड योर फ्रेंड्स डांसिंग बट एट द सेम टाइम इफ योर ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स स्टार्ट डांसिंग देन देन व्हाट विल हैपन यू विल feel irritated that how come my grandparents start dancing uh, publicly that way you will feel irritated so here when people are talking or when grandmother was talking that uh, she was very young and pretty in her youth days at that time after listening this uh, this type of thought was very irritating for Kuswan Singh. Uh, grandmother had also informed Kuswan Singh what type of game she used to play when she was a child. When she was a child, they used to play various, uh, she used to play various games. आपने भी अपने दादा दादी से कहीं पे सुना होगा कि हम हमारे टाइम में ये गेम खेलते थे वो गेम खेलते थे हम लाइव गेम खेलते थे आप लोग तो क्या गेम खेल रहे हो आप तो अभी फोन में लगे रहते हो फोन की गेम खेलते हो दिस टाइप ऑफ कंट्रोवर्सी इज ऑलवेज देयर सो गेम्स व्हिच यू आर प्लेइंग राइट नाउ दैट इज ऑलवेज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द गेम्स योर ग्रैंड मदर और ग्रैंड फादर माइट बी playing ek hi game common padta hai cricket cricket is played everywhere but other than that some of the live games like gilli danda marble games uh, all these things uh, they have gone now they people consider that they are the games of old times and nowadays people play the video game and all <clears throat> when uh, this kuswan singh heard uh, about the various game that grandmother used to play he considered it like absurd absurd means strange uh, and it, he also considered like undignified actually grandmother is narrating the story of her childhood at that time she was child but Kuswan Singh feels that how come grandmother play this type of game but she is not playing the game now, but she is simply saying the games of the past, I mean, in her childhood she used to play. So, Kuswan Singh considered it like undignified, not as suitable to a sort of a person. He also treated it like the fables of the prophets he used to tell us. Treated it like the fables. Fables are stories of animals where animal characters are given human language. Aapne Panch Tantra padhi hai. Panch Tantra mein animal and birds, they are speaking in human language. Ek dusre se baat karte hai, aisa vaisa darsate hai. Actually, in reality, this type of thing doesn't take place. Reality mein aisa nahi hota hai. Animals and birds can't speak in human language so that is there she considered it like uh, stories of prophets uh, prophets means uh, in the ancient time people whenever they want to know about the past or future 
they used to go to the prophets prophets you can take in the sense of jyotis of modern days uh many a times we also go and ask about the future and all so many people do believe in them many people do not believe in them so there was a mass of a people who did not believe in the stories of prophets and all so uh whatever stories were told by grandma about her childhood that was somehow not believed by kuswan singh he did not believe that this type of life grandma used to live in his childhood uh she had always been short and fat and slightly bent she had always been short and fat and slightly bent grandmother was short in height fat also and by the age people reach to certain age their body becomes bent uh they cannot walk straight and so was grandmother too she could not stand straight as earlier it was told that uh, from all face all over to all over there was criss cross of wrinkles running from everywhere to everywhere they uh, she is extremely old and as a result you can find on her face on her hand everywhere in fact wrinkles uh we were certain she had always been as we had now see a uh, mental piece word was discussed earlier it is a structure of a wood marble or stones above or around the fireplace uh no we were certain she had always been as we had known her she was old so terribly old that she could not have grown older isse zyada aur old wo ban nahi sakti utni old age tak wo pahunch chuki thi grandmother since last 20 years they could see her exactly in the same posture there was no change at all uh she could never have been pretty but she was always beautiful says kuswan singh uh she was not able to walk straight so with the help of a stick or some another thing she used to hobble about in the house in spotless white with one hand resting on her waist uh, to balance her stoop and the other telling the beads of rosary grandmother could not walk straight she needed a support uh she was uh, walking with the help of a stick or something and her one one hand was always resting on on her waist and on another there is always found a rosary we can say mala uh whenever uh, here in hindu uh, we have beads uh the number of beads they have number of times they speak the name of a god or might be some sort of mantra or so so this rosary mala is always found in the hand of grandmother her silver uh, silver locks uh that stands for her silver hair her hair had become extremely white and her hair were scattered untidily over her pale puckered face her face did not have glow of the youth her face did not have glow of the youth her face was looking pale and there there were so many wrinkles on her face puckered puckered means wrinkle 
and uh, continuously with the help of her rosary she was continuously praying speaking some inaudible words in prayer uh whatever god she might be believing uh, that god's name uh, she was continuously taking she was beautiful uh, confesses uh, author she was like the winter landscape in the mountain an expanse of a uh, pure white serenity breathing peace and contentment she was uh wearing white clothes her hair was also white and she looked very peaceful and calm and that's why uh, serenity serenity means something which is very calm and peaceful for that we use the word serenity then whatever experience the author had uh, kuswan singh had that experience here uh, kuswan singh is narrating he says that he and his grandma they were good friends here also the reason of his staying with the grandma is given that my parents left me with her when they went to live in the city and we were constantly together somehow the parents had to live in the city for the job purpose and during that time this kuswan singh used to live with grandma kuswan singh also studied uh, studied in the village school uh, where grandma lived uh, grandma was the one who used to prepare kuswan singh for going to school while making kuswan singh bath grandma used to sing a morning prayer uh she was deliberately singing the morning prayer so that kuswan singh can learn this prayer wo jaan bujh ke wo prayer gaati thi kyunki kahin na kahin grandma ko lag raha tha ke uh जाने अंजा में जाने अनजाने में खुशवंत सिंह ये समझ जाए प्रेयर याद रख ले तो खुशवंत सिंह के लिए अच्छा है सो डेलीबरेटली वाइल मेकिंग हिम बाप ग्रांड मा यूज टू सिंग अ प्रेयर खुशवंत सिंह लिसन बिकॉज ही लव हर वॉइस बट ही डिड नॉट बोदर टू लर्न अबाउट इट uh while going to the school grandmother used to pack everything for kuswan singh at home also your parents might be helping you or reminding you of what are the bags or what are the things you are supposed to carry to the school so here chalk and various other things slate ink pot she used to tie bundles of peat and then used to send the sent kuswan singh to home here bundle is given if you ask your grandparents did you have a bag like us they will always say no we did not have opportunity to have a bag like you even they do not have the polythene bag plastic polythene bag they used to create a bundle of a band and then they used to go to the school after breakfast of thick and stale chapatis with a little butter and sugar spread on it we went to school uh grandmother you can imagine that she has uh, she had reached to the extreme age since she had become extremely old she cannot cook regularly so sometimes our grandparents what do they do you might better know it ke kai baar subah ka bacha hua wo dopahar ko kha lete hain dopahar ka bacha hua wo shaam ko kha lete hain ya shaam ka bacha hua wo subah mein use karte hain this type of things is generally done by the uh, elders why because they are not that much energetic to uh, cook every now and then so here also 
early in the morning they had a stale chapatis which was left over um, left at night and in the, on the stale chapatis she will apply butter and sugar and that she used to give to kuswan singh for breakfast after they finish the breakfast they together will walk towards the school and whatever the chapatis might have been left she will take it for the village dog school chhodne tak grandma hi jati thi kuswan singh ko to jate samay jo ye chapatis thi jo bachi hui thi wo kuswan singh और ग्रांडमा जब स्कूल जा रहे थे तो अपने पास ले जाते थे क्यों क्योंकि बीच में वहां पे विलेज डॉग्स आते थे तो दे वुड ऑफर दिस चपाटीज टू द विलेज डॉग्स ग्रैंड मदर यूज टू गो ऑलवेज टू ड्रॉप हिम एट द स्कूल द स्कूल वाज अटैच टू द टेंपल so whatever time kuswan singh will spend in the school meanwhile grandmother used to sit in the temple and take the name of a god or she might sit with pujari learning about scriptures or reading some books in the temple the priest of the temple also used to teach them alphabets and the morning prayer children used to sit on either side of the veranda and singing the alphabets of the prayer in chorus <coughs> my grandmother uh, he says that his grandmother used to read scriptures in the temple when they both finish their work i mean kuswan singh will finish the school and grandmother is also finished with uh, his reading they will walk back to home while coming back they will meet certain street dogs and grandmother used to offer them those stale chapatis jo chapatis wo ghar se leke aaye the wo chapati yahan wo dog ko offer karte the and dogs to catch those chapatis they will fight Uh, with each other i mean dogs will fight among themselves for grabbing the chapatis so this is the scene that is usual scene that is repeated every day but then uh, something happens till now this is the way grandmother and kuswan singh used to spend their time with each other but when parents were comfortably settled in the city they call for them and then came a turning point in their frenzy abhi tak kuswan singh village mein grandmother ke sath rehte the lekin ab jab parents settle ho chuke hai to un logo ko wahan pe bulaya jata hai city mein tab ja ke unki friendship mein turning point aata hai uh in the city they share the same room but here in city kuswan singh used to go to a new school english school and that too in a school bus so grandmother no longer used to come with kuswan singh in a city school it was a english school he used to go on a motor bus uh there were no dogs in the street and she took to feeding sparrows in the courtyard of our city house gaon mein to dada dadi ve log ek jagah se dusri jagah jaat jaate aate jaate rehte hain ados pados mein baatein kar lete hain lekin city mein aisa nahi hota hai city mein log ek dusre se duriyan bana ke rakhte hain even neighbor people do not talk with each other so such a type of lifestyle in the city so now grandmother was confined in the city uh, house uh, she could not have you know, wandering outside so she would not even meet the street dogs now <clears throat> instead of feeding street dogs 
what she will do she will take some grains and on the courtyard she will scatter those grains and feed sparrows so a sudden shift came in their life so we are keeping this story up to here the half of the story we will cover in the next video till then it's a goodbye from me have a wonderful day